Hello, my name is Ronald Williams. I work for the Fulton County Library System. Today, we welcome you to our book stream for teens. Today, I will be reading in your hearing Somewhere in the Darkness by Walter Dean Myers. And also, you can get this book at your Fulton County Library System. As you know, we are doing curbside. So just go onto our website, fullcolibrary.org, and you can down, you can order your books there on our new website. Jimmy Little sat on the edge of the bed, eyes closed, listened to the rain that beat up against the window. In the streets below, cars hissed by. From somewhere, a radio blared. It had been on for most of the night. He leaned back his head and opened his eyes halfway. He looked into the mirror. The mahogany frame, the overall glass, was nearly the same color as his face. Jimmy smiled. He liked the way he looked in the morning. Jimmy, the voice came gently through the door. I'm up. Mama Jean, he called. You don't want to be late for school today, she said. You dress? Yeah. The door opened and Mama Jean stuck her head in the door. Jimmy smiled. I do hope you don't, I, I do hope you don't intend going to school just dressed in your underpants. Mama Jean said, no ma'am. There are some eggs in the refrigerator. And some, some, some of that ham I bought yesterday. She said, don't you fool around here and be late now. You know what that teacher said? Yes, ma'am. You all right? She came into the room and put her hand on his forehead. You don't look pretty perky this morning. That radio was on all night, he said. Was it? Mama Jean opened her dresser drawer to see if he had clean shirts. Don't know what's going on with those people. Now, you get yourself out of here and on time today, hear? I'll be out on time, Jimmy said. Mama Jean kissed him and left his room. He heard her scuffling about the kitchen. Imagine her moving her large frame around the table pushing her gray hair in place, straightening up some salt shakers on one of the green vats that held the flowers she so loved. Before getting ready to leave for work, the keys jingled and she took them off the refrigerator. Don't forget to lock up good, she called to him. Yes, ma'am. That was my reading for today, Somewhere in the Darkness by Walter Dean Myers. Thank you so much.